Drinking a pint of Guinness will be at the top of any tourist to-do list you'll find in Dublin. And with good reason. Before you grab a pint of the black stuff or head off to the Guinness storehouse for a totally immersive experience, here's some tips to see you through. Welcome to another episode of Fast Facts. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest uploads. Okay, let's get into today's video. If you filled the glass atrium at the Guinness storehouse, it would hold 14.3 million pints of Guinness. And today, in unnecessary but absolutely cool trivia, somebody over at Guinness did the maths and figured out that if you filled the glass atrium up with the dark stuff, it would hold 14.3 million pints of Guinness. That's over 8,126,000 liters of alcohol. That's crazy. Over 10 million glasses of Guinness are sold every day. Guinness's influence goes beyond Ireland. It's an internationally renowned brand and synonymous with classic Irish stouts. It's not just the Irish people who've gone out and made their mark on the world. The alcohol's made a pretty big impression on discerning beer drinkers around the world too. Weirdly enough, it's actually massively popular in Africa, where there are three breweries and Nigeria apparently consumes the second most Guinness in the world. The perfect way to pour Guinness has been calculated down to the exact second. According to the team over at Guinness, there's a perfect way to pour your pint. True connoisseurs will pour for 119.5 seconds at a 45 degree angle. Nobody wants to wait for three inches of foam to die down before jumping straight in. Guinness wasn't originally called Guinness. The original name dates back centuries, back to when Guinness was still called Porter, then later renamed to Stout Porter. It's a name that was popularized for the fact that it was popular with, you guessed it, porters, or more specifically, train porters. Guinness has a long human rights record. Arthur Guinness, the original founder, was a widely generous humanitarian. Guinness was involved with everything from housing the poor to supporting Irish troops during the world wars, ensuring that there were jobs in the brewery for returning soldiers. They also played a part in preserving Irish culture by working on conserving St. Patrick's Cathedral. Guinness isn't actually based in Dublin, Though the Guinness Storehouse is in Dublin, the main center of operations has since moved on. Since the Guinness Corporation merged with another company to create Diageo, they've actually moved their headquarters out to London and all the big decisions are made there. Guinness isn't black, don't freak out. Due to the specific way that Guinness processes its barley, the stout actually comes out a deep dark red and it's much more noticeable if you hold it up to the light. Even though you'll hear people shouting for a pint of the black stuff over at the pub, it's not actually true. A UK survey found Guinness drinkers with a mustache were at a disadvantage. We're not even joking. Back in 2000, a study found that overall, men with bushy mustaches lost 162,719 pints to their bristles a year. It might be time to reconsider that shave if you really want to save a couple of quid. We don't have the statistics on bearded men, unfortunately. Yes, Guinness is behind that Guinness Book of World Records. We have Sir Hugh Beaver, a former managing editor of Guinness, to thank for the most impressive book of human accomplishments back in the 1950s at a shooting party. He got into a debate about which game bird was the quickest in Europe. And when they couldn't find the answer in any of the books, he decided to create one. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.